Hey everybody, today I'm gonna lay some pipe. I'm gonna run a water line from my pump house, where my well is, to the greenhouse. The first thing you wanna do is dig a trench where you're gonna bury the pipe. And I don't have to go that deep because we're in South Carolina and we don't have a deep frost line. But you can see that I've trenched it all the way up to the edge of the foundation of the greenhouse. I'm gonna come up through the back. As far as materials are concerned, I spent less than $60 for five 10 foot sections of schedule 40 pipe, one inch diameter, a bunch of these fittings. And then I've also got my primer and my PVC cement, some thread tape for my fittings and a tool to cut the pipe. What I've been doing so far to get water to the greenhouse is using this garden hose screwed into this spigot and then I have to run back and forth. So I'm actually going to come off of the spigot and go underground all the way to the greenhouse come up out of it like this, and then I'll have another hose bib in the greenhouse. This is actually a lot easier than you might think. First, I'm gonna put this elbow fitting on. So I take some primer, and I go around the end of the pipe, and inside the elbow fitting, let that dry for a couple seconds. Then I get my PVC glue. In this case, I'm using a pretty heavy duty, rain resistant kind, but you can get cheaper. And stick it in there as far as it'll go, twist it, and in just a short amount of time, that's gonna be a really solid fitting. Now I'm gonna put it in the hole underneath the foundation. You can see where now it's gonna have a standpipe coming up off of it. The first thing I'm gonna do is use these ratcheting PVC pipe cutters to cut a piece of this pipe about 18 inches long. Nice clean end. Okay, now I got my standpipe. I need to put a fitting here for the hose bib to connect to. All right, I've got this fitting that a garden hose will screw into and it fits over the one inch pipe. And you see it's threaded inside. That's where the male end of the garden hose fitting goes. All right, you could just thread this into here and if there's a little bit of leakage, it's not a huge problem. But I'm gonna use some of this Teflon thread tape. And what you do is you peel some off. Make sure it doesn't stick to itself. It's not sticky, but it'll cling. And then you wanna go with the direction of the threads. So that means we're gonna go this way. We're gonna make it nice and tight. And this is gonna fill in all the little tiny gaps in the threads. And now I twist it and screw it in. And now I'm gonna tighten it with this pair of pliers. Very gently hold the metal part of the hose end and twist. And now this end, the female end, is gonna come over here and screw onto the spigot. And so what we have in the well house is the spigot coming off of a line coming from the well, going through this short section of garden hose, going into the PVC standpipe with the elbow, and now I'm gonna start laying the rest of the pipe going straight to the greenhouse. All right, I've laid several pieces using couplers to attach the two pieces at a time. And now this corner is gonna be a little tricky. What I have to do is put in a 45 degree angle so I can shoot along the back of the greenhouse. So there's our 45 degree angle coming up to the back of the greenhouse. This will all be backfilled. So I had to have a riser elbow come up about six inches with another elbow. And now I have to shoot through the sidewall of the greenhouse. So this pipe is coming out from inside the greenhouse and I just need to cut it and attach it to the standpipe. Here's the finished view of the standpipe coming up from the ground with an elbow going into the greenhouse where I'll have another elbow and another standpipe. Elbow coming from the pipe outside and what I'm going to do is put a standpipe like this and then anchor it against this aluminum frame. 
Now that's nice and solid. Now I'm going to install this threaded pipe with a sleeve on the other end with PVC glue. And again, I'm wrapping the threads with that Teflon thread tape. I need to install this brass hose bib and I'm hoping that I have enough wiggle room to thread it on. Just barely. Let's see if it works without dripping. Turn that on. No drips here. No drips here. Go check the rest of the line. No leaks back here, so that's good. Now that all the plumbing is done, I've got a backfill, and I'm going to fill this void under the foundation with some sacrete. And now I'll backfill this trench with all this dirt.